Dear friends, this is tutorial 32 in VASP. So in this tutorial, you can learn how to calculate delta E for long wear insoled mechanism. This mechanism generally called as LH mechanism. These are the model energy profile. These are the reaction intermediates. Okay. So I will show you the first this paper. I have published recently one paper in bulletin of, of the Korean Chemical Society. This is the paper Tremolecular LA Radial Pathway for Efficiency of Oxidation on Phosphorin Supported Single Atom Gobalt Catalyst. Okay. In this paper I have calculated energy profiles. So you can see this is the energy profile for LH and ER mechanism. Okay, these are the reaction intermediate. I also mentioned the bond length in between the bond. Okay, this is also the reaction sequence. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to calculate only the LH mechanism, and next video I will tell you how to calculate ER mechanism. Okay. So here also I already calculated the TR mechanism. This is the TR mechanism. You can see this is. So let's see how to calculate um, delta E for this uh, LH mechanism. Okay. So already I show you know, this is the I separated that this is the LH mechanism. These are the reaction intermediates and also the reaction sequence. Here, two CO, one mole, two molecule react with this single atom catalyst, produced two equivalent of CO2. Okay, so this is the pathway. I will explain the pathway first. So this is the initial structure. Initial structure means the phosphorin plus two CO, O2 molecule will in will in first will interact with this single atom will form this intermediate so here o2 will interact with side on binding o uh, co will interact with end on binding okay this is the im1 okay then this im1 will come form im2 via transition state one okay now one of the o molecules start interacting with the c of uh, co okay then you will get the ts1 then the ts1 uh, uh, will form this kind of uh, peri uh, peroxo type intermediate okay this o o c o bond will form this kind of uh, square type uh, intermediate okay so uh, this intermediate then via ts2 will form first equivalent of co2 molecule here you can see here the o o bond will uh, bond length is slightly elongated compared to the uh, im2 here im2 1.53 1, 1 so yeah so IM2 is 1.53, here is 1.83, okay, via transition to two, this bond length will break, which will give the first equivalent of CO2 molecule, okay. Further, what will happen? Second CO2 molecule will interact with this IM3, uh, will form IM4 intermediate, then first CO2 molecule will release. So sometime, some paper will also uh, only consider the uh, ER mechanism here. So this uh, CO will interact with the O top uh, top of the O they will keep and start interacting with this one will form CO2 that is a uh, different method. So so here we are doing that uh, the CO molecule will interact with the O1 uh, cobalt atom okay then it will give the, this kind of intermediate. Now this O and the CO start interact will form the transition state 3 from transition state 3 it will uh, will form the C uh, final second co2 molecule okay uh, via ts3 so finally the uh, this co2 molecule also will release finally you will get the uh, catalyst plus 2 co2 molecule okay this is the uh, reaction mechanism on okay this is the reaction sequence and also re reaction mechanism okay so based on that calculated energy i have plotted this energy profile okay so uh, i will tell you how to calculate this energy profile okay reaction energy and uh, and make the energy profile so you can see here this is the uh, systems for lh mechanism so this is ph o c o is the cat single atom catalyst okay the second you can see pho co co o2 side i mentioned side on means that that uh, i am one okay i already showed that in intermediate now that energy then this is the ts1 energy so this is the the ferroxo type intermediate o o co energy 
this is TH2 energy then this is the CO, o, CO2 that uh, first CO2 molecule formation okay this energy so this is a O absorbed and a CO absorbed IM4 energy okay then TS3 after the TS3 the first the second CO2 will molecule form so CO2 A means absorbed like that I mentioned this IM5 this the that energy so finally you will get a PHO catalyst phosphorine supported cobalt plus a 2 CO2 molecule so these are the small molecule energies CO, O2, CO2 okay you have to calculate that separately you have to get the DFT energies okay this is the energies of the things so we will calculate now uh, the binding energy of these intermediates then we will plot energy profile okay so first step is formation of IM1 so this is the formation of IM1 so here what we have to do so generally that thermodynamics what we will do the product minus reactant will then we will get that uh, binding energy of this one so here first the product is IM1 so reactant is PHOCO plus 1 CO molecule 1 O2 molecule okay so first we have to take uh, 1 CO O2 only for this one because that 1 CO 1 O2 only is not interacted with the uh, catalyst okay that's why we are taking this 3 I added this is the total energy of that one so this is the IM1 energy okay you can see IM1 energy 290.17838 okay just you can substitute this energy into your calculator paste it just to press equal 2.75 will get okay so you are getting minus 2.75 absorption energy okay for formation of uh, im1 that is uh, one co molecule will, will bind and one o2 molecule will bind okay likewise you need to calculate for every steps okay so second step is formation of ts1 here also the same energy you have to put the starting is should be same always okay uh, starting energy that means a reactant energy okay from uh, from uh, already i told you now that year mechanism you have to calculate from year only initial structure to im1 initial structure to ts1 initial structure to im2 initial structure to ts2 likewise only you have to calculate initial structure to final structure like that only you have to calculate your binding energy okay that is the correct way so the second step okay that uh, second step is ts1 ts1 so this is the ts1 energy then we can subtract we will get this energy okay so second one is im2 im2 means you can see here im2 means this is ferroxo type intermediate okay that is the im2 okay this is the peroxo type intermediate this is the im2 so the you, you can also like where you take im2 energy here also you take that uh, single atom gobal supported phosphorine under one co molecular energy one o2 molecular energy you can add uh, three things you is the total energy of this reactant this is the total energy of product then you can substitute with that uh, mm, subtract this energy you will get your uh, binding energy okay then uh, transition state 2 okay so this also same like you have to take initial energies then you take uh, ts2 energy okay then you will get uh, a binding energy of uh, this uh, transformation energy of this ts2 okay then formation of im3 okay im3 what is here im3 means oh, that, that that is the first co2 molecule formation energy here co2 will absorb on the top of the o okay so this is this is im3 okay so this is im3 this is the energy is minus uh, 44.9990 okay then we have to check the formation of im4 okay here the formation of im4 is this one okay so this is the formation of im4 so i will tell you how to calculate this one I am 2 I am 3 so I am 4 okay here you have to take I am 4 energy plus you have to add the one CO2 molecule energy gas phase CO2 molecule energy because so here first CO2 molecule formed so that's why we need to add into the product uh, section the CO2 energy plus I am 4 energy then if you can add this one you will get 307.880176 okay 
then here you add also include one more CO2. Generally CO2 reduction will take two equivalent of CO, one equivalent of O2. Okay, now only we are adding. We can also add from starting onwards. That no need. You can add whenever need. You can add this one. The here only this uh, the second CO molecular energy we need. That's why we are adding here. So then only the uh, equation will balance. Uh, otherwise you may you may get the uh, unbalanced equation. Okay, so here uh, you can. Uh, uh, two CO energy and one O2 energy and the catalyst energy. This is the energy. You can sub uh, subtract this energy using calculator. You will get minus 5.68. Okay. So then you have to uh, TS3. Okay. Similarly, you need to add the TS3 energy and the CO2 energy. And this is default. You have to take the like uh, what you used to 203790 to this energy. You need to add here only because from from the first after formation of a CO2 molecule, you have to add the second CO molecule. Okay, that's why you will get if you substitute subtract this one, you will get minus 5.48 EV. Okay, then find this is the IM5 steps. Okay, here also same only IM5 means. IM5 means this is the last one. Okay, this is the formation of second CO2 molecule. IM5. So this is uh, similarly you can take IM5 energy, add this one, you will get this one uh, product energy. Then uh, default react energy you can put, you will get the minus 6.74. This is the formation of uh, final structure. That means two equivalent of uh, CO2. This is here PHO CO plus 2 CO2. Okay, that is this are 2 CO2 energy and also PHO CO energy. Okay, then PHO 2 CO O2 molecule. Then you will sub subtract these two energies, you will get minus 6.49. Okay, this is the final step. Okay, likewise, you can calculate this kind of uh, reaction mechanism. Okay, LH mechanism, very easy only. Uh, I, I will share this document to you just you can use it and calculate yourself so this is the calculated binding energy okay so every steps I mentioned here then I, here also I have this is in, in bracket italic what I mentioned this is the potential determining step that means rate determining step so here we have to calculate the rate determining step here 2.75 minus 1.94 is you will get 0.81 so likewise second TS barrier is 0 0.16 and uh, this is the third step uh, uh, barrier. So if you see here this is the red determining step first step that is the, the formation of uh, OO, OO interaction with the CO. This is the red determining step for uh, this LH mechanism. Okay. So that's all we will use this energy to make energy profile. Okay. Just we can make it that one. Yeah, I, I already added that energy. I also made uh, this. So you can see this energy. I already added 2.75, 1 1.94, 2.85, 2.69, 4.90, 5.68, 5.48, and 6.74, 6.49. I already added, made it that figure. So it's very easy only, just you can uh, plot it uh, yourself, very simple only. I already showed the other, uh, earlier video how to make this kind of energy profile. Even though I will tell you how to plot, just you can uh, select this column, go to plot, you can go to the scatter, you can uh, click it, then you will get like this. So if you want to increase this uh, length, just uh, click here and you can uh, width you can make it 15 you will get that enlarged one okay then you can double click that point you will get this symbol you can put 50 here you can put 20 yeah like that so then you can add that uh, top one top layer bottom layer 
so you can go to grid you can opposite lines you can add and you can also this one you can click opposite you will get the squared okay this kind of rectangle one so that's how you can make it connecting each other and also uh, by pressing text you can you can type your energies okay you can make everything it's very easy only i think you, you you can make it this easily okay then finally you can save this image i think okay, this is also simple just uh, export graphs then you can uh, change into a jpg put name and also you can uh, click your path you can increase your resolution okay then click ok the file will export so that's all okay this is the lh mechanism so I will, we will see our uh, energy profile yeah this is our energy profile okay you can make it this easily and also you can calculate using my methodology this is very good only. so thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my future updates thank you thank you for watching thank you enjoy